looks on everything. Think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? Deadpool broke into the mainstream in 2016 and became famous for a lot of things, like its vulgar humor and graphic violence that weren't at all common for superhero movies at the time. I will f*** your f***ing cat. I, I don't really know what that means. I don't have a cat. And while many pearl clutchers might see the vulgarity and violence and call it out as the moral decay of civilization, uh, I don't think that gives enough credit to what I would consider to be Deadpool's most significant positive contribution to modern culture, which would be breaking the fourth wall and poking fun of sacred cows and studios that weren't allowed to be made fun of previously. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. You're welcome, Canada. On this channel, I try to approach the world with a positive lens, and Deadpool's popular right now, because with the new movie coming out, and I was thinking, how could I approach this with a positive eye and maybe add something of value to the conversation? And it was a bit tricky, because, you know, Deadpool isn't just a paragon of positivity and virtue, but I finally came to it. Deadpool's honesty is this litmus test of how people are taking themselves and others less seriously in modern society. Companies will only allow criticism that doesn't hurt and still maintains the status quo, but Deadpool makes jabs at its own studios that higher-ups in those studios would never make at, say, some kind of press meeting or something. And please don't make the super suit green. Or animated. And before I go any further, yes, I am recording in the stall of this cafe because I needed a quiet sound space to record this. And I usually use my fancy camera gear, but I thought, hey, this kind of fits the uh, the vibe of Deadpool anyway, and I need to cut this one out quick. So here I am. But yeah, how often do you see a company or politician make fun of themselves in a way that actually hurts? It's a big house. It's funny that I only ever see two of you. It's almost like the studio couldn't afford another X-Men. Like, what if Biden made a good dementia joke, or Trump made fun of his orange skin, or, you know, imagine if corporations got to jokes about themselves before South Park did. I'd be willing to offer you $40 for two of the white ones and 50 for the blacks. Are you referring to our student athletes? Student athletes. Oh, that is brilliant, sir. Now, when we sell their likeness for video games, how do we get around paying for our slave uh, student athletes then? A lot of older people who run companies or political parties or whatever have spent decades of their life building up their own image and the image of whatever group they're subservient to. And so they've turned it into this sacred, untouchable thing. Younger people, on the other hand, are a bit more cynical by nature, which isn't necessarily a virtue. It's just the way things are and the way things have always been. Older people have built up the institutions that make society operate and young people challenge those institutions or movie studios to see if they hold water. Let us go talk to the professor. McAvoy or Stewart, these timelines are so confusing. Then they build institutions with the lessons they've learned, but inevitably, inevitably become the rigid old people eventually and a new generation comes in to repeat the cycle. But I see this Deadpool self-awareness as a positive trait in the modern era. I keep getting this political YouTube ad that says, Not tomorrow, not next week, but today is the day I hope you donate to my campaign. And when you say things like that, you've automatically lost people, anyone under 40, because it's just not authentic like we see through that kind of stuff. And younger people are right to be cynical in a lot of ways and about things that aren't authentic. And my Deadpool-inspired Deadpool challenge to people would be this. Yes, poke holes in what rightly deserves to be made fun of, but don't stop at cynicism. Take action. You know, society is great at poking holes in things, but not so great at coming up with practical solutions. And it's easy to be a sideline critic, critic and much harder to get your hands dirty and do some tough work. So... Whatever your cause is, just do something. Don't just complain. Often the loudest activists are doing the least real world work. So if you say if you hate abortion, you know, go adopt a kid or a foster kid or, or just ask a foster family like, hey, what can I help you with? Or if you hate racial inequity and inequality, go sign up to be a mentor at the local boys and girls club and see that kid through college or up to his career or whatever. If you hate Hitler, go back in time and, uh, well, you know, I'm just a practical guy who likes practical solutions. And so on this particular bizarre multiverse, 
Uh, that is how Deadpool could actually help you become a better person. And if you want to see more content that's inspiring you to become a better person, you can watch more here or click the link below and subscribe. See ya.